We spent the first half of the day setting up our market display here, trying to mess with our ideas and what we we're gonna do. First market starts next week, so next Saturday. We made these boxes with our friends yesterday at their place. It's all old scrap wood. What do you think of this uh, display? It's good, I'm excited. Uh, the boxes look really good and we got all that pallet wood from our friends Jeremy and Kate and they helped us put it together last night so it's really exciting. It's all Tori's design, I didn't do any of that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, that's fine. I didn't really either, it's just Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> We got a lot to do today, irrigation. Irrigation, cultivating, planting, direct seeding. Uh, yeah, getting the tomatoes and cucumbers ready to go. This is all drip tape stuff here. This is a um, thousand foot roll. So basically, 100 foot beds, you figure you get 10 strips. And if you're doing two strips per bed, that's five beds. We try and overhead, or we try to irrigate overhead more than drip tape, but this is goes in the tunnels because don't get rain for one. But also, the tomatoes and cucumbers you don't want rain really hitting the foliage on those, especially the tomatoes. These are the end plugs. These are the end plugs that go on the end of the drip tape to stop it and. So this goes in the tape and then you spin this around and it tightens up over the actual drip tape. This is a, this is a coupling, so they, um, we have drip tape from last season that's not long enough, so these will go in between the, the two lines and make it one line. They sent the um, they sent the uh, the the knob the, the knob to turn it on and off. That's freaking gangster. They, Is that what you ordered? No. Oh. Well, what did you order? Uh, I ordered the ones that just plug in, like you just oh. plug them in, like we had last year. Mm -hmm. But so now you can for the tomatoes, like you set up four, but you only turn on two in the beginning, and then you turn on the other two later. Yeah. And if you're if you want to do zones on the drip tape, you can just shut these off instead of the whole area. Nice. Yeah, that's what these are, but I explained it to Tori and not the camera. <laughs> so, what, this just plugs in yeah, like this, this, this goes and in like the, the front part of it? Yeah, this goes into here. Yeah. yeah. And then... Yeah, and then this. the drip line goes in here. Yep. And, okay. And then, so... When we actually have the irrigation set up, this thing be cool because you can turn it on. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. 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 Oh, I'll put it on the right hand like an idiot. So that thing screws on and screws off. It's tight. You can pick, there's these little slits in here. So basically this is just a irrigation pipe that hooks up to a, a hose or a water source of some sort. And there's little cuts in the bottom of this tape here. And you can do like every four inches, every eight inches, every 12 inches. We just did four because if we do use this under weed mat or something for any lettuce heads or whatever, most things are at six inches spacing, so. This is a half inch pipe, and I'm cutting it at three and a half feet. So. This is a wobbler head, and it's just a irrigation that mimics rainfall. And it comes up here and shoots out, uh, out here, and just 
It's just like rain. They screw into the top with a fitting. We actually, Tori's not here right now because we got the wrong fittings. We thought that this was three quarter inch, but it's actually half inch. That happened, so she's going to get more. Uh, the bottom of these wobblers, so we have poly tubing, this black tubing that goes on here. And then this sits in here. And the wobbler goes on top. And we set four of these up per 100 foot bed. And we got all this, this we got this set up from uh, Ray, uh, Ray Tyler at Rose Creek Farms. So we learned all this irrigation stuff. And um, yeah, these are really effective. And they use, this is two gallons a minute. I'll show you all the wobblers um, working. So you can see that, I got some running now. Got this fresh new hat right here. Thanks to my buddy Pete at Green Dreams. Thanks, man. Gonna rep some cool companies. Check out Pete's channel, um, Green Dreams. I'll leave a link in the description, but Pete does awesome work. I've been talking to Pete for a couple years now. Went down to his place, helped him work for a week, and learned a lot. Pete does real permaculture, like real installs very knowledgeable. Um, you can see how it mimics rain, so there's no soil compaction with this irrigation. It's a very even spread. Um, it handles the wind pretty well. Yeah, that's the wobblers running. The drip irrigation is going to be going in here underneath the weed mat and yeah I've been watering all these by hand individually uh, since I planted them so yeah I thought that I had drip equipment and then I didn't and then um, me being me and not being organized like Tori I didn't order the, the attachments and stuff for like way too long like I'd be out working and I'm like oh it's, it's past five they're closed I can't order them but they got here yesterday and so finally we'll be able to get some irrigation here what's up Her the hermit guy is he he's got a lawn yeah apparently we have a apparently we have a neighbor that is a hermit and lives in his uh, basement and doesn't have electricity I don't know I kind of want to meet him though. I'm going to use the landscape stake to poke the hole for the drip tape to plug in. They make a tool for this but it's like $12 and this worked last year, so. Just a little poke like that. So then these ends right here, just push into the hole. Now your drip tape hooks to this and We gotta move this silage tarp too. Yeah. One side has the slits with the, in the blue, and one side is dark. Clearly, you want the slits on the bottom so the water drips out.
We just turned the water on. Yeah. No leaks here. Tori's checking the other end. They leaking? See how that just drips. Okay, got the second tunnel installed. Now we're testing it out before we put the um, these staples that holds the weed mat down. So we're running this through, make sure there's no leaks or anything, and then staple the weed mat back down. No leaks, so that's good. Setting up the wobblers here in this plot, just like those there. And so for 10 beds with the nozzle, we have um, in between the third and fourth bed this way, and the third and fourth bed this way is where we put them. This is the black tube from Lowe's. Depending on the length of your bed is going to determine how far you set these and the nozzle that you get. For us it's about every 12 and a half, well, 12 and a half feet from both ends and then about 25 feet in between those end ones. So you got the rebar, what was this, four foot rebar? Mm -hmm. Four foot rebar, pounded a foot into the ground, wobblers we made yesterday goes next to the rebar and gets zip tied and then we attach it to the poly tubing. That's pretty much it for setting these wobblers up. Um, this whole thing now can be taken, you pull these rebars out and kind of fold it up like, you just fold them up together and you can carry four at a time and one person can set up another row. So, all right, that's all eight of them. We do, uh, we like overhead irrigation more, especially for growing uh, salad greens throughout the summer. I guess I'll explain that when it happens. Uh, you can grow salad greens most of the year, or just greens in general. What's something else you can grow all year? Root crops. Uh, yeah, beets, carrots. Beets, carrots, turnips, radish, greens. Yeah, without fancy stuff, just a tunnel like that. Yeah, test these things, see how they work. Well, the well sucks, so the pressure's low, but they work. You can see it just reaches the weed mat over here in this area and also down here. I don't know what to say. Tori wants it. to explain the overlap. Oh, I was just going to 
say that these two beds here in the middle are going to have an overlap because you have the wobblers on this side coming over three beds and then the wobblers on that side coming over on the three beds. So the two middle beds will have overlap. It's pretty even watering too. It's basically a rainfall, like... Yeah, just like, like a light rainfall. It's like having your own rainstorm, kind of. Alright guys, thanks for watching that. Uh, it's kind of a longer video, but um, that's a lot of information to cover. Nobody really um, explained that very well to me last year. It took a while to figure out. Um, just from pictures. And my buddy Tom, so thanks Tom. If you ever watch this, probably won't, but... Uh, Somebody mentioned that I should say my name with videos, so I'm Casey, that was my wife Tori, and uh, this is our first year starting um, our market garden, so our small scale vegetable farm, and we started this in October of 2018, it is now end of April 2019, um, yeah, Tori works full time. I work here, jokingly, we say as a jobless loser, so hope that helps somebody, but uh, yeah, this is the first video you're seeing, I guess, this is how that would work, or something, anyways.